In the last video, we introduced the concept of uh, linear ordinary differential equations, where the order denotes the highest derivative that you have in your differential equation. In this video, we're going to start seeing a special type of differential equation that often comes up in practice, known as a separable differential equation. These equations tend to be uh, first order, meaning that you have at most a first derivative, and they typically have the following form. So you have the derivative of your quantity of interest with respect to the variable that it depends on, the y is of your, as a function of x, and this is equal to some function of only x times some function of only y. And the reason it's called separable is because you can separate each one of these terms and solve this by direct integration. So you can separate this into a side that depends only on y by bringing this g over here. And a side that depends only on x. And then by integrating both sides, you can get a solution for y of x in general. So as an example of that, we're going to look at uh, the pressure in an ideal gas. So the situation is as follows. For an adiabatic process, which is a, a process where uh, there is no exchange or of heat or mass between your system of interest and its environment. The pressure P of your gas is related to the volume by the following equation. So you have the derivative of pressure with respect to volume is equal to some constant. So here CP is the specific heat at constant pressure and CV is the specific heat at constant volume times pressure divided by velocity. And here your pressure depends on the volume. So you can see in this case that we have uh, something that depends only on pressure completely in a way that can be completely separated from a term that depends only on volume. And we would like to solve this for uh, the pressure. So to make things a little less uh, crowded, we're going to call the ratio of the specific heats gamma. And then we can separate our equation. So we can bring every term that has a P over to this side and any term that has a V over to that side. So we brought the dv over here and this p over to the other side. And now we can directly integrate both sides. Gamma is a constant, so it can be left out of the integral. 
the integral of one over some variable is the natural logarithm. And here, because we haven't specified any uh, conditions on the pressure, or in other words, any uh, integration bounds, we just put a general constant of integration. By raising both sides to the power e, where e is the natural number, we get uh, something that looks like that. The e and the logarithm over here can simplify. So first we can we can separate out these terms. The product of gamma times C1, we're just going to call uh, C2. It's just another constant. This one simplifies to be uh, B minus gamma, by the property of logarithms and exponentials. And then we're going to call this E to the power of C2 just by another constant. We're gonna call it C. So bringing this V to the minus gamma to the other side, the solution to our differential equation tells us that the pressure times the volume raised to the ratio of the, of the specific heats has to be a constant for an adiabatic process in an ideal gas. This is constant for adiabatic process. So this was an example from thermodynamics of a separable linear first order differential equation. In the next video, we'll look at another class of differential equations known as exact differential equations and how to solve them.